Before we get into making sounds with the easel, it's important that we understand the signal flow and what all the modules are at a macro level. I'm going to load in a default preset. In the preset browser, I'll clear filters and click on template and then load in the default preset. It sounds like this. All right, so there are seven main modules, but if you were to look horizontally, we will see that all the switches are on the top section here. So switches for the sequential voltage source, switches for the envelope generator, for the pulsar, for the modulation oscillator, the complex oscillator, some switches for the dual low pass gate, and we can ignore the output section for now. There are some dials in this area, but it's all mostly switches. Okay, next below this is the slider section. So for each of the modules, there are a set of sliders for various controls. Then below this is the patching section. Now the patching section is not separated like the previous ones, but it is color coded. We will take a look at this in more detail later on. Next at the bottom, you have the touch activated voltage source module. The upper section has some controls and options like portamento, arpeggiation controls and preset voltage sources. While at the bottom is the actual keyboard. You can activate it by just clicking with the mouse, but it's probably more practical to use a MIDI controller for this. All right, now let's talk about the signal flow in the synth. The main sound generator is the complex oscillator. It has all its controls within this area here. The modulation oscillator is used to modulate the complex oscillator, but it can also be used as an audible sound generator. These are the two main sound sources in the synth. These two sound sources are routed to the dual low pass gate. Gate 1 is normaled to the complex oscillator and gate 2 to the modulation oscillator. There are some routing options for gate 2, which we will explore later. Next, the signal goes to the output section where you again have level control for the two channels. There's a spring reverb that can be introduced to the signal here and there's a master level control. The remaining modules in the synth are all modulators. On the leftmost side, you get the sequential voltage source, which can be used as a step sequencer. Next is the envelope generator, which can be used to control the level of the two sound generators and many other possibilities with patching. And lastly, you have the pulsar, which is a pulse generator that has various clocking options and it too can be used to modulate multiple parameters using the patch bay. Alright, in the next tutorial, we will take a look at how the patching system works on the Buchler Easel V.